welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to just show y'all some stuff that y'all could do in Miami. So just stay tuned with me throughout this vlog and I'm going to show y'all stuff that y'all could do in Miami. In the meantime, watch him pack the big daddy. Yeah. That's daddy. of Mac the last time we went it was a 10 out of 10 so we had to go back my husband also had the buffalo mac and cheese which was a 10 out of 10 we just didn't get a picture of it but here's what me and my brother-in-law had So we ain't getting wet. And then you got fake booty. You have yeah. fake oh, yes. booty. You're gonna stop because the fake booties are gonna walk by really quick. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's no Sorry. Yeah, in Miami you have to let people buy. Oh, this is the Fendi Cafe. Right. Is it? Is it the Fendi Cafe? Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it because yeah. the yellow thing is it like is. there. I was supposed to come here. I'm supposed to go on a date here with my homegirl. Yeah. Nice and nice. Yeah, like everything, the food is fit. Everything is food. Fit me everything. Is that it? Yeah, I think it's the one. It is. Is that it? it? Is. They don't gotta say it, but it. Um, oh, Tory Burch. That's what she was saying. <laughs> you funny as hell for that one. Oh, my mama does. I, there's a perfume that they have I like. Yeah. You got a palm skin? Yo, no. This place here is called Tap 42. According to Google, it's rated 4.6 and it has very, very, very good reviews. Um, I definitely didn't get the chance to visit, but it will be one of the places I would want to visit when I go back. So if you are in Miami, they're all throughout Florida though, I definitely recommend visiting. This next place is called Mau, and according to my friend, it's lit on Sunday. So if you want to go to Mau, go on a Sunday. It's a restaurant, by the way. Um, 
her castles. Oh yeah, we have like this place. We have this place where it's like all the food trucks lick up and you try different things. Oh, okay. last last part of the artwork all of the great 
artwork, paintings, mural, graffiti, all that cool stuff. But I loved, loved, loved this part of Miami. I think it was beautiful and it showed like the creative side of Miami. So I hope y'all enjoyed this part. Yeah, that's why I'm filming it. I heard you say it. This is a really, really cool cruise ship that we drove past. I love the painting on it, so I had to capture it. So in this part of the video, we are entering into Port Miami and I'm going to just give you all a little detail on what the Port of Miami is. So it's also well formerly known as Dante B. Fassel Port of Miami is a major seaport located in Biscayne B, which is still a part of Miami and it's at the mouth of the Miami River in Miami, Florida, of course, it is the largest passenger port in the world and one of the largest cargo ports in the US which I thought was very cool so I hope y'all enjoyed the view of Port Miami hey y'all so in this part of the video as you guys will see we did a Miami boat tour which was absolutely amazing um, I'm gonna actually link it in the description box. If you are ever in Miami, you can actually book this boat tour. It was really, really affordable. It's all ages actually, and it's 90 minutes. It was more like two hours, I would say, but it was worth it. And um, of course, it's in downtown Miami. And you know, they'll tell you, like once you book the, um, the tour or whatnot, they'll tell you like where to, where in Miami like to get on the boat and different things like that um they have an actual tour guide and he does it in English and Spanish which I think is amazing um because you win like more than one um population of course and then there's different times that you could book the tour for you have to um do a reservation for sure and if you can make sure you print out your tickets for this because if not they're going to send you to like this little area where you have to print out tickets and it takes extra time and if you're not early then you don't get like good seats on the boat if that makes sense um but yeah there's also parking there's like a garage where you can park for adults it's 28 dollars, and then for children it's 20 dollars. and i promise you it is absolutely worth it as y'all will see like in this part um in different parts of the video like the highlights of the tour is you get to cruise biscayne bay which is beautiful it's breathtaking this is my second time like being on there but i didn't book like an actual tour um this i mean the first time i did it wasn't like a professional professional tour it was one of our friends both that he took us there or whatnot and then also you get to see like lavish million dollar celebrity homes on millionaire row there's an actual area called millionaire row which is beautiful you get to see celebrity houses of course i think j-lo um p diddy um different people that own homes on fisher island of course you also get to see the port of miami you get to see brickle key fisher island star island and you get to see the miami skyline which was beautiful if you're into drinking they also have a cash bar on the boat they also have like snacks restroom their restroom was actually clean which is a 10 out of 10 to me but yeah if you are in miami i definitely recommend that you book this tour i'm gonna link the website for the tour in the description box and let me know how you like it if you've been on this tour before if you've been in this part of miami and just let me know how you like it because i absolutely loved it <laughs> 
Hey y'all, so in this part of the video, we visited this place in Miami as well called Little Havana and it was beautiful. If y'all don't know, Havana I believe is the capital of Cuba, but it's, you know, it's a Cuban area and the fascinating thing to me about this area was that they had a McDonald's there. Like, that was so cool to me. Um, the other thing is we went to this restaurant called El Pub Restaurant. Y'all will see the menu, the foods and stuff like that that we ordered in here. This is our second time going to this restaurant. I would say it's the absolute best like Cuban food that I've ever had. So we ordered a uh, bistec de renosada. I hope I said that right. Bistec de palomila and then bistec empanizado, baby. And when I tell you it was a 10 out of 10 it was a 10 out of 10 um all of us like we tried each other's and stuff and everybody voted that mine's was the best um it tasted the best and in case you ever want to go and get it it's called bistec de ronanda but i also enjoyed the um the what is that called the bistec empanizado because that was breaded fried steak which i've never had before but it was delicious so if you're ever in miami i definitely recommend like this cuban place it tastes like very authentic cuban food and we absolutely loved it we also had um dessert for dessert we had tray leche and we split it which was absolutely delicious as well and then my husband also ordered some sort of like cappuccino like a caffeine drink and i believe it was the cortarito that he ordered y'all will see it um in you know one of these clips but yeah i just wanted to share with y'all what we had what we enjoyed in little havana it was a beautiful place the waiter was very very nice he was so nice he was patient he explained everything to us and he helped us decide on our food so if you're ever in miami definitely recommend this place as well we included the menu the foods that we ate and all that good stuff so i hope y'all enjoy seeing what we had in this part of the video hey friends so in this part of the video y'all will see that we went to south beach miami we walked this strip we hanged out on the beach for a little bit and it was so so amazing this is not my first time on south beach as y'all can see if y'all watched some of my previous videos but it's so beautiful it's so breathtaking that i had to go back there's Loomis Park on Ocean Drive. This little tea picture was like a building over the highway when we was going there. And here is a glimpse of the beautiful, beautiful beach. Oh my God, y'all, that is how the beach look at night. When the sun is setting, it is such a vibe. So if y'all ever in Miami, make sure y'all go visit South, South Beach. Just catch a vibe, y'all. It's such a peaceful, beautiful, rejuvenating, refreshing vibes. Like you just recharge and decompress whenever you go to the beach there, which I absolutely love. In this part, uh, this is Ocean Drive, of course. And in the nighttime, y'all, look at all those beautiful lights, the LED lights, which I love. It's a vibe in itself. It's perfect like to just go on a walk, grab some snacks. There's like every possible thing you could think of that you could do on South Beach, like that strip or whatnot. Whatever you're into, it is there. If you like the drink, then I'm sure they have some good drinks there. If you like ice cream, we did stop and get some ice cream. They got ice cream there. They got food. They got breakfast food. They got brunch. They got dinner. They have like all types of stuff. If you don't want to eat and you just want to walk and enjoy the view, you could do that too. It's very entertaining. You see all different kinds of people doing all kinds of stuff. There's people like rolling skating playing music riding bikes just rallying talking interacting I think there's like clubs on the strip too if you're into that like literally whatever you're into it is on that strip and you know you can have a good time they also have beautiful hotels um the last time when we was there we did stay at the hotel there 
I didn't like that hotel, but I did hear that there are better hotels there that you could book, that you could stay in. So if you ever visit Miami, y'all, like this is like a significant location that you have to visit. Even if you just walk for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, like it's a beautiful scenery. It's a beautiful vibe, especially in the nighttime, like all those lights and stuff like that is beautiful. The palm trees are beautiful. You can take pictures on your phone. If you have have like an iPhone or whatever um, the night mode on the iPhone like captures beautiful beautiful pictures as y'all will see that I included previously but yeah there is a lot that you could do um, here so I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video that pretty much wraps it up so thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching I appreciate every single one of y'all if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment and most importantly subscribe that is all I have for you guys make sure you guys stay tuned for the next travel video that I have coming out on Sunday. I will see you guys in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.